Hello everyone, it's old Uncle Dave here, sporting his new duds. Look at that, executive chef. Well, not quite, but chef in training, so. Yep, I finally went through, I bit the bullet and just said, you know, I gotta do something. These reviews ain't paying the bills and I got plenty left over and there's plenty more where that came from. So, yeah, good looks and intelligence and good intentions don't pay bills and everything. Sadly, they can barely even get you laid nowadays. But um, we all keep trying like fools, <laughs> to quote David Lopan. Anyway, we're going to do a... Oh, before I get into the review, it's PDQ, uh, People Dedicated to Quality. It started, I believe, in Canada. It's either Canada or North Carolina. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, um... Well, I think they opened in North Carolina, then they expanded to Canada. There's some in New York, New Jersey, and some down here in Florida. It's the guy who owned uh, Outback Steakhouse, teamed up with a couple other business guys, and they wanted to open up a higher quality chicken chain that's more like a different KFC, Popeyes kind of thing. So um, I'm going to try, I wanted to try the chicken sandwich, the one that they make a big deal out of with everything on it. But I didn't see that on the menu, and when I looked online, it's like nine fifty nine. That's pretty ridiculous for a chicken sandwich. That's not a combo, by the way. KFC is running their deal too for um to um for twelve dollars. If you spend twelve dollars, you get a free chicken sandwich. It's that chicken sandwich that they've had for a while. The KFC you can get it with a really spicy hot or just extra crispy. And if you go and get like a four piece chicken tender combo meal with like two sides of biscuit and the soda for like 10 something, I think. You just need to add like one extra thing and then you'll qualify for the, um, it's basically like having two meals at once. I would eat the chicken sandwich that night, some of the sides and save the rest for the next day. But it's a good deal and if you like their food and who doesn't like KFC or Popeyes, I think I missed the flounder sandwich of Popeyes in the tackle box. So, you know, but we're trying to eat better, um, you know, that's why I haven't done a fast food restaurant review in a while, but yeah. So uh, all I can say is just by looking at the food, it looks pretty decent. The kids were nice there, pleasant environment, pretty clean. You know, I, I see the people dedicated to quality slogan taken to, uh, you know, good use. But um, prices are really high and they don't give you much for it. You know, I got the mac and cheese was like four dollars, and it looks like nothing from nothing. And the chicken tenders four were seven fifty nine, which is not too bad. But like I said, you can get them at Popeyes, you can get them at you know KFC for like around the same price, maybe a dollar or two more with sides and a biscuit and a drink. They have cherry wine, um, that um, fruity flavored soda that's like a cherry, like Dr. Pepper. Really good. My brother in law, Bob, turned me on to it. Uh, they used to have it in uh, South Carolina when he used to visit. And now you can get it in Publix and you can get it in Winn-Dixie. Probably even Big Lots has it. So it's pretty good. So, um, yeah, you know, PDQ, come on, guys, buck the trends. Don't don't go for trends. Be unique in your own way, the way In-N-Out Burger was. And I think they're religious, too. So just like In-N-Out Burger is. And it's great that, you know, people that believe in a higher power or God, force majeure, angels and demons, whatever's up there or down below or, you know, whatever's pulling the strings, think that a fast food diet is the best uh, fate for their customers. Anyway, I mean, yeah, you know, you could buy a Tesla, become a vegan, and then just eat fast food before you become a vegan for months and months and see what happens. Uh, or you can buck the trends and not get a crummy electric car, uh, not have one of the least healthy diets, actually even more than a carnivorous diet. Vegan diets are very unhealthy. They're not good for you. You're not getting natural things in your diet. Vegetarian, okay. Pescatarian is the best way to go. But everything in moderation. You know, I eat meat and I eat stuff, but I eat quality stuff. I eat either organic, green-wise, whatever, and I eat the vegetables, I eat the fruits. I get a good is servings and intakes of those on a daily basis and exercise. And, you know, I, I don't smoke anymore. I don't drink anymore. I don't do any of those things, drugs, any of that stuff. Uh, and none of the fun stuff anymore. Sorry. <laughs> you got to grow up sometime. Remember when you used to be able to smoke in an airplane? Oh, God. Remember when Montgomery Ward was a shopping store, a department store that was a true department store that you can get everything in the world? You can go in there, buy a TV, a VCR, a mountain bike, uh, some clothes, and a handgun. 
Yeah, yeah, you could do that at a, at a, at a Montgomery Ward. So, what a shame. What a great, one of the best department stores. They lasted for like 30-some-odd years, so they must have done something right. But it's like going to the mall and just seeing again how sad it's become. Tesla store, poor store, Michael Jordan store. No more Sears, no Montgomery Ward, no like regular normal stores. It's crazy. Even Skechers was like $90 for a pair of stinking sandals. This is crazy. It's sad. We lost our humanity. We've come so far technologically only to lose our humanity to become what we become. So, and it probably will eventually be our downfall, but let's not dwell and nitpick and yeah also the goods buy low sell hard jeremy piven was great uh jordana spiro was hilarious and adorable and i'm trying to think of, i think katherine hahn was in it it's a really good movie about a bunch of used car salesmen that move to a new state uh, he and his team go with him i don't know if they were fired or transferred and there's this whole soliloquy where they start smoking on the airplane and going through the whole thing it was great the ending was great it's it's a comedy it's a little serious at times but give it a chance if you can get it it's circa 2009 like i said jeremy piven's great he always is and it's a lot of fun in the movie it's a very interesting movie to watch. It's kind of like used cars, not to the level of creativity and cleverness and awesomeness that used cars was, but it's pretty darn good. So, and that was the whole thing. Remember when we used to be able to smoke on an airplane? We've just lost our humanity. Light up a cigarette. Come on, see how it feels. Nobody's going to argue. Come on. So, yeah. Anyway, let's get this party started and let's get the food. Or as Sloth would say, yeah, I felt so badly for poor Sloth and Goonies when he's just, like, sitting there. So, um, I don't know why the camera won't let me turn this. PDQ, Bok Bok, PDQ points. We are all about hand-breaded tenders, signature sauces, and more. So when we apply our obsessive love for tenders to literally everything we serve... And absolutely everyone we serve, we call that tender love and care. And we're all about it. Well, remains to be seen. Let's uh, take a few of these uh, very dried out looking chicken tenders that don't look that great. We're going to take one and we're going to bite into the see, real, 100% real, made to order, always fresh chicken. So they had chicken sandwiches, they had the ch popcorn chicken, the chicken nuggets. There's a little guy on the side, the little chicken guy. Kind of crummy bag, fell apart and everything, but, you know, you're not shopping at Bloomingdale's. You're just, uh... So let's take out everything here. Give me, like, three napkins. It's usually, like, two more than I get at most places. So that No, there's another napkin. No, here's another napkin. Keep those napkins... Keep them coming, love. Keep them coming, love. Don't stop it now. Don't stop. So here I have a... That looks like ranch sauce. And this is a creamy garlic sauce. That sounds interesting. Sorry, we're going to put your camera down over here for a minute. Because we're going to plow into this still surprisingly hot mac and cheese. I mean, it looks good. I'll give it that. Kind of pathetic for $4 and change. Of course, this was 7 something So, like I said, you know, KFC is probably better. We're going to do our dip into the um, ranch first. Hmm. Typical generic buttermilk ranch. And we're going to try the garlic sauce. That's good. I like the creamy garlic sauce. So let me just get my fork out, take a bite out of this mac and cheese. We'll give it our grade, and we'll wrap it up. Cheers. My little Elijah Wood Frodo-looking guy who does the reviews on the uh, Report of the Week, I think is, his, is what it's called. Review of the Week. He did them, and he was very disappointed. Chicken tenders are decent. You know, they're a little dry, but again, you know, we're reheated. It's not really hot. I'm going to have to reheat them again. It's 
it's not their fault. It's just fast food. That's just the way it is. I like the breaded crunch. You know, usually I make my mac and cheese when I make it for um, dinners and for people and everything, special people to me in my own heart. I make it more gooey and cheesy than creamy. I can make it creamy. I mean, my dad usually liked creamy, but he liked the gooey. So, but nobody's ever complained. All they said is, more please, seconds please. And the truffle oil one just adds a whole new level of awesomeness, so. It's kind of like a little generic, but it kind of also tastes like they added something a little special to. It's not bad, it's different. Certainly not worth $4 and change, that's for damn sure. Um, so the verdict is the prices are too high, the portions are average, they're not too small, but they could give you a little bit more. I gotta get with the program. I'm sure they're doing okay, but if they want to expand and they really want to blunder bust this whole thing, you know, out to many, many chains, you could do a little bit better. B minus. B minus on the food. Not bad. Good taste. Sauces are pretty decent. Like I said, the garlic sauce, which I really wanted to try. I was like, oh, yes. Much, much better than the ranch dressing. So anyway, look forward to the next review. Um, we're doing more movies now, so on my YouTube channel, because, you know, Facebook keeps striking everything, and they just, it just won't download, I don't know, you know, there's nothing offensive, there's nothing, uh, copyrighted there, it's just the fucking algorithms with the Facebook, those fuckers, fucking bastards. Anyway, Uncle Dave will just signing off here, and, you know, stay frosty, keep on trucking.